I like this one. I love it so much. So yeah, that's what I got both of them. Like seriously, I don't get too much. What's up guys? So I am running some errands. Probably can never guess where I'm at right now. No, it's, I'm sure it's very obvious. I'm at Target like always. So I had to run out and do some errands today. The boys are in school right now which is nice because I can actually do some errands. Parking for a drive up order right now. There's a kid who looks like 18 walking out with a pack of white gloves and it's so funny to me for some reason. I'm sure he's not 18, I just feel old. Um, but anyways, so I asked you guys on, in I feel like I'm always saying this, but I asked you on Instagram what you would wanna see today, either an Amazon clothing video, like a Amazon fashion haul or a day in the life vlog with first birthday planning and the majority of you guys said birthday planning so I thought I think she's coming out with my order now but so I thought I would show you today what I'm prepping for Arlo's birthday oh here is hi oh sorry I just lost my wearing coat. your mask oh my gosh of course <laughs> here you go, a lot of people don't put it on so I'm like, okay. I love your nails Oh, thank you. Thank Here's you. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Have a good day. Should have gotten my thumbnail with the Target logo in the background. Damn it. So I thought I would show you guys sort of first birthday prep. What I'm doing to get ready. I'm not actually doing a party for him. Which is so crazy. Like my approach for the second kid has been totally different than my approach for the first because I don't really feel like throwing a party and we're still like in a pandemic. So we're going to be doing just like an at home party. We're keeping the boys home from school on his birthday. We're gonna bust out like the bounce house. I still wanted to do a smash cake and like the whole experience though. So we're still going to do all that. Thought today I would show you like the decorations I've gotten so far and talk about the themes um, because both Arlo and Christian's birthdays are coming up. So Arlo turns one a week from today. Crazy to me and I'm starting to feel all like the emotions that come along with your baby turning one. Like it's, it's just wild. He's like, he's my little baby boy and he's entering toddlerhood. So um, yeah, still wanna do a celebration. So I just placed an order for a smash cake and then a little sheet cake. But in the Target order that I just picked up, I also got stuff for their Easter baskets. So I thought in today's video, I would show you guys the things I've gotten for their Easter baskets as well too. Cause I know like these ages, if you have a baby or a toddler like I do, it can be tricky to figure out what to put in that basket that they will actually enjoy. So I thought I would show you what I'm planning so far. I'm not doing anything crazy though. I seriously went so all out at Christmas time with gifts for them that I'm still like burned out on <laughs> gifts after Christmas like they got so much stuff that I have not even really bought them anything since then because they just they're good like they have more than enough um, if anything I've been donating toys and clearing things out but it's Easter and I wanted to get them a little something so they have a little little bit in their basket Jordan and I are also going to film a reels video today that I'm excited about and I think you guys will think it's really funny so I'm pumped for that. So we will do that and now we'll head home and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, we're working on a Reels video now and I'll give you guys a little behind the scenes. Sweeping, what do you call it? This is broom, or sweeping. Sweeping. Can you tell we don't clean? <laughs> did I bring you the regular broom? You did, it's around. I like this one. <laughs> Makes me feel big. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in our office now. It's like a complete mess in here. There's things all over the place, but I thought I would show you guys the Easter basket stuff I got from Target. So I have been working on putting together the boys' Easter baskets a little bit. Um, so I have a few things here. And then today I just placed that order for pickup um, and got a bunch more little toys and stuff. So I'll kind of like sprawl everything out and show you, but literally everything that I got for their baskets is from Target. Um, and then I even their baskets too. I love that they have a couple different sizes. So Christian's will be bigger because he has bigger toys. Um, and then I also ordered him like some little mini truck toys that are supposed to get delivered today. So that will be part of his present too. Okay, so this is what I have for them so far. This is like my little setup. Christian's basket and Arlo's. So I got them basically just some books and some little things that I knew they would like. 
um, that we would use in our sort of daily life anyways. I'll start with Christian. So Target had these really cute truck chocolates. So I got him two of these because I knew he would love those. He's obsessed with mixers. And then some Peeps. Um, I might throw some other just like smart sweets or something like that in here that he'll like. And then I got him these adorable little sandals, these flip-flops by Cat and Jack. A pair of sunglasses. He's starting to be really into sunglasses and he loves Paw Patrol. These ones have like a little chase in the corner so I thought he would like those. Speaking of Paw Patrol, got him some stickers. So Paw Patrol stickers and dinosaur stickers. I know he'll love both of those. This like little blue truck book series, we have like the normal little blue truck book. And then we have the Valentine's Day one and the Christmas one as well too. So I thought I would get him the Easter one. He loves talking about the animals in these books. So got him that. Same with Pete the Cat. I love that like their favorite character books have all of these themed ones. He loves Pete the Cat. And so I got this Easter book for him. And some Crayola egg chalk. I found this just in the dollar spot at Target, but I also found it online. So I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. But I thought this was so cute. It looks like little Easter eggs, but it's chalk. Some bubbles. He likes using these at the beach. And then that will probably be it for his basket. And then for Arlo, I got him another book, You're My Little Honey Bunny. And then this one comes with a stuffed animal. I thought this was so cute. So it's just like a whole little set there for him as well as this beach hat. So Christian got the flip-flops and Arlo is getting this cute little dinosaur beach hat. And I got Arlo these stacking cups. He actually had some of these handed down from Christian and we've lost a few of them, but I know he likes these. So these are great for one-year-olds if you're looking for a gift or an Easter basket item for a one-year-old. Same with Oh my gosh, look at my arm from carrying stuff. Same with um, this textured carrot teether. I bought this in person at Target, but it's so cute. It's so cute though, and Arlo does really well with um, teethers and things that have holders, like handles like this too. So I think he'll like this one a lot. And then maybe I'll add like a t-shirt or something for each of them, but I really just wanted like a couple small things that would feel special, but also practical and not like, you know, stuffing things up too much clogging. We have enough congestion in our house. So yeah, that's what I got both of them. I'll have all this stuff linked down below too if you want to snag anything for yourself too. Okay, and now I am in our guest room because this is kind of like when we don't have guests, which is most of the time, um, this room is sort of just like a hodgepodge for like storage and haul videos and things like that. But I have a bunch of stuff I've gotten for Arlo's birthday that I thought I would share with you guys. So yeah, I went to place that cake order today. I will say second time kid learning is that for, for Christian's first birthday, I went to a local bakery for his cake and I got a smash cake and another little cake and some cupcakes. And it was so expensive like i'm embarrassed how much i spent on it um so my learning was don't do that especially when the one-year-old is just going to smash the cake as it's called like it's literally going to be gone in seconds it just i spent i think 40 dollars on christian's smash cake which like it made for great memories there's nothing wrong with that but at the local grocery store today i got arlo's smash cake for 9.99 and it's still like gonna look exactly how I want it. I could still put in a custom order, but it's so much more affordable. Seriously, like people sleep on grocery store bakeries, but like when we got married, we had a Walmart wedding cake and it was bomb. Everybody liked it. So just go to your grocery store. We went to pavilions cause that's what's closest to us, but whatever is nearby you, um, their bakeries are awesome and so much more affordable for birthday cakes and smash cakes so i put in an order there and i did like the naked style cake because i think that is so cute and then i'm gonna see if i can get some type of little decoration for like a suit or bow tie look or something like that we're not having like an actual party but i just want to decorate and stuff and so the theme i'm doing for him is mr wonderful because he has such an old man persona he always has and so it's inspired by Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank. So I got these marquee letters. I think he has been loving to pick these up and walk around with them. So I think the O is on the floor of our bedroom. I am gonna set up like a whole 
first birthday photo op and I have this vision in my head. I found this picture on Pinterest where the fireplace was filled with balloons, like not turned on, the fireplace is turned off, but it's filled with balloons so it looks like they're like flowing out. I wanna do something like that, maybe with a balloon arch, um, a couple, you know, like a high chair banner, the whole shebang. So I got these marquee letters to kind of put up behind him. And then I also ordered one of those letter signs so I can have it say like one year old something like that that is getting delivered from Amazon today but the whole theme is like you guessed it neutrals it's like black and white and gold um, I actually found these happy birthday napkins just at Target and they're like totally part of the theme so I just got a little stack of these for decoration I have like backdrop photo backdrop I don't know what I even ordered I went through a phase where I was like ordering so much for their birthdays a few months ago like before Christmas um this is like a big banner that is a Mr. Wonderful banner that I'll put up somewhere this little cake stand I found in the dollar section or like bullseye playground at Target Mr. Wonderful balloon it's all packaged up so I'll like insert pictures I even got like a tablecloth that will match this is another little high chair banner I think I have like three different high chair banners and then one of you guys actually reached out to me so shout out to Cami who owns a business for high chair banners and hers are so beautiful and like handmade and she was so generous and offered to send me one of those so I'll show you guys that when that comes in but you can pick your own design and all the colors and everything they're gorgeous so I'll have that linked in the description box be sure to check them out um because he's gonna have one of those too and I'm so excited for that milestone high chair banner and the great thing is because they're not like it doesn't have his name on it so we can continue to use it for the next future child too if there is one this is one of those banners that has like the monthly photos for him so I've been taking his photos every single month and I'm gonna make like a whole banner of it with that look at this cute little one hat oh my gosh that is so precious he's gonna look so cute in it so I don't know what that baby voice was but I got him that hat and then I also got him I think it's in here yeah these little like baby little underwear covers that say Mr. Wonderful and then it came with a little bow tie you could pick the color so of course I went with neutrals and it, these undies a little tan bow tie and then little suspenders too so I'll probably have him wear all of those for some pictures we snag and then I think one of these kits that I got on Amazon came with another version of the outfit but in black too this kit actually has a high chair banner which is the exact same banner that we had for Christian but for Christian we had a blue high chair banner and then on Amazon they have the exact same version but with black and gold so I thought it would be cute to also get pictures of Arlo with the same style but with black and gold and then this came with a little outfit for him came with a little crown and um, also a cake topper I think too and then this has like more balloons and decorations and like Mr. Wonderful stuff I just like seriously I did too much this is a balloon arch I think so I'm gonna build that clearly I need to open all of this up um oh and then something else that's cool is I got these little popcorn boxes and I actually got like an old school popcorn maker on Amazon it was pretty affordable it's still in the box in the garage um but I'm gonna bust that out and Arlo actually started snacking on popcorn at daycare and then I let him have a little bit here if I can like pick off safe pieces for him and so he likes popcorn and Christian like we all know Christian loves popcorn so he gets it from his mama so I'm gonna make like have a whole little old school Hollywood popcorn set up with these little popcorn boxes too if we did do a party these would have been like the treats like you know take home whatever and then I got little I don't know where they are but I got little like chalkboard signs too and Target has these erasable chalkboard crayon markers which I thought was so smart because the hardest thing is when you get chalkboard signs but you can't find actual chalk to use and then it's not erasable or they have like the permanent version of it so I thought this was really smart this was just in the party section of Target too so that's everything I have for Arlo's little birthday bash setup um I am definitely going to vlog the day as we're celebrating I actually have a video that is already scheduled to go out on his birthday so that's why I wanted to show you some of this prep in advance but I will also vlog his birthday and like you know his little setup I'm not sure what to get him as a gift like it's funny I got all this stuff but I don't actually know 
as a gift what would be good for him. I feel like one-year-olds are kind of tricky to buy for to begin with. Arlo has so much stuff because of Christian. Basically anything I would normally get for Arlo, Christian already has. Or Arlo only wants the stuff that is Christian's, you know? So, oh, I also got him a really cute Mr. Wonderful outfit off Etsy. Um, it's hanging up in their room otherwise. Actually, I'll go grab it real quick and show you. So I also got him this little outfit and it's so cute because it's a one piece I thought after we do the cake smash and he like has cake everywhere I could change him into this because that is another thing I learned from Christian's birthday party is to have a backup outfit which I think I did have at Christian's party but we didn't end up changing him into it or something I don't remember but this one is still like on the theme but it's just a comfy one piece and then the back is personalized so it says Arlo in one. Oh. I love it so much. These are the kind of outfits that I hang on to forever. Like I still have Christian's second birthday shirt too. And then I'll probably get Christian like a um, cute little personalized shirt for him too. Christian's party. So that's, you guys think I got a lot for this or you may think I got a lot for Arlo. For Christian's party, mama went a little overboard because my boy, my baby boy is turning three, which feels like a very big birthday and he loves trash trucks so Christian's party is going to be a trash bash and I'm hoping by then we can have some kids over and I may even have some family in town and so we're gonna do like a whole little party with a little easter egg style hunt in May. I've got a whole menu plan that's like trash themed I think I'm gonna schedule an extra trash pickup just so he could see the trash truck on his birthday. I have gotten so much stuff for that. So as it gets closer, I'll share more with you guys or maybe in an upcoming vlog. I know a lot of you guys are looking for ideas too, but Christian's party will be all trash truck themed everything and it's gonna be pretty amazing. I've like, it's like every little detail. I'm just so excited for it. I'm so excited for all of this. So yeah, I'll vlog both parties or both birthdays and then um, I'm gonna take a lot of pictures so I can do a blog post on it too and have everything linked all in one place with pictures of everything too so you guys can see how everything turns out and easily find links if you're looking for anything that way too. Yeah that's all I got for the birthdays. It's gonna be time to go get the boys soon. I'm gonna see if I can watch This Is Us before it's time to get them. <laughs> You want to ride a scooter on the walk? Mm -hmm. We can do that. Um, oh my god, I go walk. Yeah, you need a helmet if you're going to ride the scooter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go walk. Do you want to fight the last piece of cookie dough? Yep. I don't think I'm going to walk with those. <laughs> 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 I want to go on my walk. I ride a scooter. I ride a I go walk now as I walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I want to. So the boys are back from school now. It's a little, just a tad bit louder now than it was earlier in the day. We just got done eating dinner. We gotta go to the garage to get your helmet, bud. I'll go and get the helmet. Let's do it. We just got done eating dinner. Arlo had mac and cheese for dinner. Can you tell? Oh, it's a little crooked, it's sorry. Just mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my uh, milk stains went away. It's dad's hair. This is hair. Is that mommy hair? Yeah, just gonna put it in my hair. That's a play. It's so weird. Isn't that funny? Go in, this hair go in dye hair? Yeah. <laughs> now we're putting this hair in daddy's hair. To make me look so pretty. Yeah, doesn't daddy look pretty? Yeah, daddy looks like mommy, huh? Pretty much indistinguishable. You look. You look. Oh. <laughs> daddy looks better than mommy. You want me to grab the hat? No, we gotta make it more full. Sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Can you tell that Arlo had mac and cheese for dinner? Christian, what is Christian's playing the lighting effects a little bit. She will pick it. I want pickets right now. You want pickets? This is just a, a normal day in the Zappo household. <laughs> Alright, so then oh, I'm just gonna, gonna wipe off his face. We forgot. Can you 
I would still nurse me if he was dirty. When baby needs me, I gotta take care of him. I'll nurse him. Oh, I'm so glad the shirt is nursing friendly. That's so funny. Are you confused? Can I do one more? Yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad this shirt is nursing friendly. Dad's hair and let's go for a walk. That's not good? Yeah, I'm gonna take it out and go for a walk. 